Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video we got something just a little bit different. Obviously by the title you already know what this is. Uh, and if you, for some reason you can't read, well I'm going to show you the Pirates of the Caribbean Jersey Jack Pinball Owner's Manual. Now here's the thing. When you buy a pinball machine uh, you do get an owner's manual of some sort. When I got my Deadpool cabinet, I got an owner's, an owner's manual. Uh, it wasn't anything spectacular. It was pretty cool. Um, gives me the information I need. And of course, you can download the owner's manual as well. When I got my Pirates of the Caribbean, of course, I could download the manual, which I do. Or, excuse me, which I did. I have it both on my phone and on a tablet. And when I got the machine, there was also a disc, a CD disc, uh, which contains the owner's manual. So, in theory, there was no reason for me to get this. However, I'm the type that actually likes to have physical copies of things. Um, one, it's a little bit easier to read rather than, you know, going through uh, your phone or a tablet uh, it's just, I'm old school. Of course, tablets are better. If you're searching for a particular item, you can actually do a search function. But, um, yeah, I saw this. I heard about it. I knew I had to get it. Now, here's the thing. It wasn't free. It costs money. In fact, what I'm about to show you costs $100. So, it's not cheap. Jersey Jack pinball machines, uh, those are not cheap. They're more expensive than, you know, other competitors. For the price, I think that this definitely should have been included for free. Um, am I ever going to get another Jersey Jack pinball machine? Maybe. Right now, the prices are high. I'm not going to get one right away. I'm not going to get any other machine pinball machine right away. But again, for the price, I think this should have been included Many owners, in fact, probably I'd say a good majority of them, feel the same way. However, myself and like many other owners, well, we saw this and we had to get one. Uh, now, here's the thing. The collector's edition of Pirates of the Caribbean does get this for free. Of course, the collector's edition, I believe, is like three, three grand more. But, yeah. Is this worth an extra grand? No. Is it worth a hundred bucks? Uh, to me, it is. Again, I kind of just wish it was included um, when you buy the machine, or at least you know a, a discount. I mean, but whatever, it is what it is. So let's see what we got here. This thing is heavy. Um, this thing weighs. Well, let me see. What does the package weigh? The package weighs six pounds yeah six pounds uh, it might be five point something and just rounded up to six but holy crap look at this good lord Wow. This this thing is big. Uh, to give you an idea, here's a TV remote. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Look at all this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a very nice manual. Nice spiral uh, bound. I like the design, the layout. Very cool. Oh, 
all the assemblies, all the lights, everything you need to know. I mean, it's it's a big manual. This thing, when I downloaded the manual, it was over 300 pages. This is something that's definitely going to be handy if I ever need to really work on the machine, which hopefully I won't. Very nice paper. Oh, okay, here we go with the extras. Let's take a look here. There, maybe a little bit better. Whiteboards, a little behind the scenes action. Very nice. All right, so here's the one that I got. This is the collector's edition. Again, one I have versus the collector's edition. Very nice. Very happy I got this machine. I never played the machine. I heard about it. When I first decided I was going to get a pinball machine, um, Deadpool was the one that caught my eye. Now, I had heard about Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I didn't get it. And here's the reason why I should have done my homework. Um, keeping in mind, I knew very little about pinball sh machines, the history. I've owned some in the past and take care of them. But I had heard of Jersey Jack Pinball. And... You know, I heard it was a relatively new company and their designs were a little bit different. And uh, I told myself, I was like, nah, I'm not going to take a chance. I'm just going to go with Stern. Uh, I've heard the name. I like the, you know, the concept of Deadpool. Um, had I played Pirates, I would have definitely gotten Pirates first. Uh, probably wouldn't have mattered as far as actually getting it. I may have not gotten it until um, late 2018. But either way, you know, I'm, I'm glad I have both pinball machines. Very cool. Uh, this is something, a good uh, late night read. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you are. Not sure if you'd have any other questions. I'm not sure why you would, but um, yeah, there it is. The Pirates of the Caribbean Owner's Manual. It's not cheap, but still pretty cool. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>